We found exactly what liquid affected what Orby in what way. Why I'm saying what, what way? Rexy, yeah. do you want to walk us through the four here? I don't get why you're saying it that way. What is the different liquid in each one? And then let's take a look at how it worked out. I will. I will forget it. Hello and good morning everyone. You guys coming at you Saturday morning. Haven't gotten ready yet today and we're kind of just living our best life on this Saturday. We have been going, going, going today. I was like, I'm sleeping in and we're getting stuff done. Kids have been amazing. There's a lot of things that have to happen today. It's a weekend and we're so excited to spend the time together. Ryler has a dance today. He has Sadie Hawkins hairdressing up in their costumes. We're gonna have a fun night because we've been a little bit busy. I feel like a couple of things have fallen through the cracks. One of those being that Brexton has a science fair project that is due on Wednesday, on his birthday of all days. He found a really cool idea that we're gonna go with. Ryler just got home from the store, grabbing some items and supplies that we needed to make the science fair actually happen. That's exciting, grateful for his help. And then we decided in the middle of that we should clean out Pebble's cage, realize we don't have enough bedding. So Ryler's helping with that too. He just went to go get more bedding. Beautiful Saturday together as a family. So many things happening this last couple of weeks. Of course at Halloween, we've had two bridal showers for Maddie. Coming up this next week, we have Brexton's birthday. So there's a lot of moving pieces to this time of year right now. Now. I feel like we're just doing our best to get through, make it through everything. We're just so, so grateful that you guys are here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being here. We're almost done picking up. I'm in Rye Guy's room. He just took off his bed sheets. He's waiting for them in the dryer, turning his house upside down, making it so clean, it's so nice. Rexon, happy birthday to you, buddy. You get to do the science fair on your birthday. Yay. <laughs> I want you to tell everybody what idea you came up with and what you found we're gonna be doing for the science yes. fair. My idea, I was looking on Pinterest, just looking for some ideas for the science fair. My idea was, what liquid makes the biggest Orbeez? Oh, so you guys can see we have a few options here. Sprite, milk, orange juice, and then water. Okay, I love it. Okay, so how many Orbeez are we going to put in one cup? 10. 10 Orbeez, I love it, this is perfect. And then we're going to put how much liquid into each cup? Six, Six ounces? ounces yep. Okay, sounds like a great plan. We're going to take pictures, set a timer, probably, ooh, you know what would be cool is if we did a time lapse. We should go get a GoPro from dad, yeah. time lapse them growing, oh, and yeah. then we can record steps. This should be a fairly quick science thing. experiment because looking on the back of these Orbeez, it says four hours to reach maximum size. So this isn't gonna take our entire day. We've yeah. got all of our supplies here. We're gonna do it. Yeah. Two, three, third. Changed up the plan because there's not enough Orbeez. So we are doing a quarter teaspoon of Orbeez now. And we will see. I feel like I should have a mad scientist costume on. Hey, you have your Dr. Meredith Grey. That looks like a lab coat almost. Don't you have yeah. that white Dr. Coat thing? Yeah, but I feel like you need to have like the fuzzy, crazy white hair, like the goggles or something. Like very yeah, back yeah, to yeah. the future look. Feels yeah. like a scientist. Like a mad scientist. <laughs> Rexy is writing down every step of the process. He's doing so good. I'm actually like personally intrigued by this. Here's when what I'm intrigued by. I'm curious to know if the Orbeez are going to absorb the color from the orange juice. Yes, Not even the clear the orberries liquid. is an interesting, yes. And Could you make orange there's carbonation and there's dairy. And are you doing one with just water, right? So that's yes. your four. Water. Guys, this is such a cool experiment. I'm actually interested to see this kid. what the results are. And it's fun to go through the process and I'm sure you're learning about doing a hypothesis and yeah. testing your results and recording your results. And this is the scientific process at work here, people. while those Orbeez sit and soak in their various liquids. Kids have been cleaning around the house today, really helping things get into tip top shape. You guys may not know this, but mom is leaving next week to go out of town. So we wanna put things in order here before she takes off. This other thing that we wanna put in order is our backyard. We had it winterized by some professionals. We do that every year just to make sure that water lines are blown out, everything's ready for winter, so that it can get through the winter, enjoy it the next spring. Something that we like to do is go around and just cover up all of the faucet, make sure that they don't freeze. We're gonna just pull in all of the pool loungers. The pool is officially closed. Bring in the umbrellas, deflate all of the pool floaties, probably organize the pool garage, get everything winter and fall ready because we can already tell that snow is probably on the way at the caps and the tops of the mountains. It's gonna be heading this way soon, no doubt. So we wanna go ahead and winterize. While the weather's not too bad, if you wait until it starts to snow, then it's not nearly as fun to put the things away. Just get everything ready for fall and winter and say goodbye to summer officially.
Dry guy going out on the farm, gonna go duck hunting, looking for deer. Oh dear. Dry guy heading out to his dance, the Sadie's dance. We yes. talked a little about this yesterday, and he had a big costume reveal. Dry guy, when are you gonna put your costume on? Right now, I just see a floating head in a, in a black t-shirt. Oh, I still gotta go grab it. Ah uh ha! -huh. Yeah. The same camo joke all the time, which is only extra not funny because camo only camouflages you against your environment. You'd have to be dressed up like a table or a shelf to be camouflaged in the home. That's very so, true. So honestly, our joke is really dumb. It's so funny though. In the woods, he's going as a what a camo man. What's so, the costume? Um, our whole group, we're all just dressing up in camo. Everyone's in camo, but then the person that you're with, because remember you told me there's like a couple twist to it. So like the person you're with has your color bandana or does yeah. the entire group have the same color, your bandana? color bandana? Very cool. So just yeah. you and the person you're with. It's fun. Should be pretty fun. I'm excited. Well, he's headed out and I think this is like the rest of your night, day. Are you going to yeah. go do activities right now? What's the plan? Yeah, we're going to go over there and then we're going to do pictures and then we're going to do dinner and then we're going to go to the dance and then we're going to go to my friend's house for after party. Wow, dude. Fun. Here we go. Dance number two, Sadie's camo style. I look good. Let's go. been hours and hours now. Brexton has finally come to his conclusion, his results. We're yes. documenting the process. We were able to see a little bit of it as it happened on the time lapse there, but really, it kind of was in the last stages that we found exactly what liquid affected what Orbi in what way. Why I'm saying what, what way? Brexton, yeah. do you want to walk us through the four here? What is the different liquid in each one? And then let's take a look at how it worked out. So, start at water. And obviously, it's water. It's meant to go in water. It's the biggest. And it did amazing. It soaked up the water immediately. It's yeah. crystal clear. Here, big giant Orbeez. That one, like when we start writing up the report, we check like what, like every hour-ish, would you say? Maybe even more often yeah. than that. That one just filled up immediately, just like mm -hmm. you'd expect it to. Big, beautiful Orbeez. <laughs> yeah, and then there's orange, orange juice. juice. Hmm. Didn't do much. I've seen a couple kind of like pop around to the surface. Yeah, you, you can, can kind of see, see here. right here. There's some up there. It not did much. soak it up, but not much, and it's still just sitting there like a cup of orange juice. And this one's milk, and it actually did pretty well because there's like Orbeez sticking up right there. So so it yeah, you can actually see quite a few. Either. Yeah, but and this still one's... didn't soak them up all the way. Still tons of liquid, and yeah. as far as we can tell, it didn't really change the color. The soda was the most fascinating to me, anyway. Because this one's big, but it didn't grow as big as the water. A really long time to get where it is right here. When we checked in on it about halfway through, it looked like it was actually making the Orbeez like half the size. Like they were yeah. just really, really small. And then as I think the carbonation came out, or maybe the carbonation just left the cup, and there was only the liquid left, they started to fill a little bit more. So they're not quite as big not quite as shiny and there's still a good amount of liquid at the bottom of this one but the sprite was the closest to water by far and the result dude what a cool project seeing how different orbeez react to different liquids and you came up with some very distinctly different results yeah kids favorite part of the weekend is what Sleepover. sleepovers it's the best part they've worked hard all day i think kirby might come down and join you too so that could be a lot of fun they worked hard all day they've had fun they watched movies you guys did a little dance battle tonight in the we theater just dance, singing their hearts out, going crazy. Dad's in a movie, so we've been hanging out tonight. Kids are tired. Yeah. So we're gonna close it out tonight with these cuties, and I can't wait for Ryler to get home to hear how the dance went. Really fun day here at the Bingham House, huh? Mm-hmm. You guys might not able to see him, but Rye Guy's standing right next to me right now. You see him? He's in full camo. Oh, no, there he what is. The, some yeah. of those worked. Oh, the Orbeez? As you guys saw, the result of that, pretty staggering. See how the different liquids really absorbed awesome. into the Orbeez differently. Surprised. Rye Guy missed some of that. But what yeah. he didn't miss is a great time tonight. Back from his dance, how was it? So freaking fun. Wait, wait, where's Rye Guy? My tear mom. Just I think stop. she found me. Ryler had the best time tonight. So fun. Full camo. Full he did see camo. one cute picture of Rye Guy in his date. Yes. Had a great time tonight. Fun. Tell him what you did after the dance. After the dance, we went over to my friend's house. We ate gingerbread houses, and we watched the Grinch and just sat there and Bro, laughed. Bro, that's full time. send into November. That's how you do it. First week of November. It's time to set up Christmas. We, is that not how it's done? I know, yeah. I'm gonna make a counter I'm going to watch the most crazy amount of Christmas movies ever this I Christmas. think we're all feeling it. Brexton wanted to watch Christmas movies. I want to. We he watched, wants to. You want to. Um, Crew was asking to. I watched we Family watched Switch. Elf. Oh, Elf. The school in the halls, like in between classes, they're playing Christmas music. Oh, man. I wasn't bored now. I feel like it's everybody doing it. I thought it'd be kind of fun <laughs> to be like a one off. But from a Halloween themed dance with your fun costumes right into the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all the things coming up. Right, guy. Dance number two, success. Yes. <laughs> Talking about how it's so funny. He didn't know anybody at this school when he went there. No one from his junior high went to this school. And he's made so many great friends in just two yes. months. I said, imagine when you've been there, it's your senior year, you've been there for two and a half years, but the amount of people that you will know, the friendships you have made, the memories you will have made. Pretty awesome time in life, dude. Yeah. It's pretty fun, you guys. So glad you had a good night. Thanks for hanging out with our family today. We did a lot of really fun things. So thanks for being here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.
Nice.